So welcome back to our look at various cultural elements in Japan. Yes. And today we're talking about, what do you think? Ooh, very natural. Ooh. Buckets. Buckets. <laughs> <laughs> hot springs. Hot spring, the Japanese onsen or hot spring, traditional hot spring. Onsen. Yes. Onsen. So uh, these are traditionally um, uh, volcanic pools that are heated by volcanic activity and are great places to go and relax and, and soak for a while. I know. The natural hot tub. Right, <laughs> yeah, precisely. Um, and getting to that point, I mean, one of the, the complexities about it is the fact that because so many of them are naturally heated, the temperatures vary. So they may be warm, they may be hot, they may be very hot. Very hot. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, we were talking about this earlier that uh, you know, if you're not used to this and you decide to go to an onsen, be careful of which pool you go into. Yes, it could it could be very hot, and if your body's not used to those hot temperatures on a regular mm. basis, you have may may have a very different experience than <laughs> people who ordinarily frequent them, and exactly. uh, uh, their bodies have become accustomed to the heat. Yeah, exactly. Especially if you've been, you know, having it today. <laughs> it might happen. Just, just saying. Um, so yeah, so this is a traditional place where folks will go to, to relax. You'll see that, that, that bucket there in the front that's used for washing yourself. Uh, so you don't, you know, have all of your, your muddy uh, uh, caked boots and all that stuff and get out of those and go into the, into the, so, into the, so, the pool. So it's not a big soup. No, no. <laughs> uh. It's not just cleaning <laughs> off into it. It's you clean yourself and get into it. Exactly, yes. Uh, and there will be uh, b between... Um, your rooms or what have you, and the, uh, uh, the pool itself, there will be showers and, and various uh, things to clean yourself off with. Uh, clean up and then relax. Exactly, uh, yeah. Nice. Um, so it's, it's a wonderful way to, uh, to, to, to clean off and relax. Oh, another one. Yeah, there's a, a onsen in winter. Uh, it's, oh. it's popular to experience uh, onsens in different uh, seasons. So go in the, the summer, go in the winter. The contrast, having all the snow around, yeah. but still hot, hot mm -hmm. enough to get in. In fact, you can see there's someone hiding behind that rock. I think you can see a little bit of a, a head and the, the ripples of the water. Somebody's uh, enjoying uh, that. And you can imagine not just soaking in it, swimming around in that hot water would feel oh. wonderful. Oh, real, very relaxing. Exactly. It, it seems very close to nature as well. Yes. Well, this got started hundreds of years ago as a way of relaxing and just generally kind of uh, 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 getting all the kinks out. And so there is that tr you know, tradition back to that natural way of doing things. Uh, some of the more recent onsen are a bit more constructed and built. So you'll get some where they are um, um, you know, artificially heated, things along those lines. Um, and so there's a, there's a difference between the two, uh, nothing wrong with a, uh, a built one, but it's nice going back to one where uh, everything is coming right out of, the, out of the ground. I suppose with the natural ones, they've probably been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, yeah. passed down from generation to Absolutely. generation. <laughs> yeah, no, you'll find some of those where, uh, you know, they're in the same family for 300 years. Uh, longer than our country. <laughs> exactly. <ever> <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, the, these things are just uh, uh, they're there for the long time. For a long time, and one of the nice things is that they can build these things, and they're there and they work. And you know, because you don't need to, uh, you know, replace the heaters every ten years, it's just always going to be there. It's always going to work. Natural and natural beauty. Exactly. Um, and uh, it's a great place to go and relax. Just enjoy yourself. Uh, All the steam wafting up. <laughs> exactly. <the smoke>. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and yes, you can just you can just enjoy yourself. Uh, now the the gender of the person here might uh, spark a question. Um, That's a woman. It is indeed. Um, Do men and women? Not usually. Not so usually. Um, so traditionally, yes, uh, uh, it was mixed bathing. Uh, that changed over the course of the twentieth century, particularly. Uh, as Japan um, I'm a globalized, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people want to be, um, uh, and so, yeah. So the, the vast majority now are segregated, uh, uh, ma uh, male and female, and you'll often see a fence between the two, because uh, that was constructed you know, <laughs> at some point. Um, modesty fence. Modesty fence, exactly. Um, but to that point, uh, you know, if 
um, you know, little kids come in, no one cares. You know, Speaking stuff like that. of modesty, do most people wear a bathing suit or a towel? No, no, they no, just no, go no. All absolutely. Um, ah. And indeed, it's it's um, it's not a good idea to, to, to go in wearing a, a swimsuit because mm. uh, you know little stuff is in crevices, things like that. So you no, know, you go all natural. All you know, natural. you gotta you gotta get used to that. <laughs> um, and now uh, you will go in with uh, a special specially sized towel. Uh, you can wrap that around your waist if you're a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit shyer than than some. Uh, that's perfectly fine. Um, as w one book I read about this said, uh, the one thing definitely not to do is make a big deal. Mm. You know, however you want to, to relax. Exactly. You know, so if you want to wrap something around yourself, that's fine. Mm. Um, just you know, go in, do your thing, and uh, and move on. What about? Bringing in technology. Some people are addicted <laughs> to the, just can't get away with the... Now, there are some onsen where they'll, they'll, they'll take away your cell phone. They, you know, no, it's no, a place to relax. Exactly. Get away from technology. Yeah, and you probably don't want to drop a cell phone in 120 <laughs> degree <laughs> water. <laughs> Not such a good idea. Um, but onsen are very popular vacation spots, um, uh, both for families, uh, but also for school field trips. So often high school uh, classes will all get together and do a trip to the onsen. Wow. Um, and uh, one of the nice things is with a bigger onsen, you'll have things like um, a recreation room, things along those lines. You can play ping pong. Ping pong. Yeah. <laughs> go. Or go. There we are. <laughs> um, and so it's a great way to, uh, to kick back and relax and just kind of enjoy yourself. And, and also just you know, chat with folks and, and such. So with being able to accommodate large groups, I suppose there's a hotel or lodging yes. somewhere attached or close by? Yeah, so most onsen will have what's called a ryokan, traditional Japanese inn, uh, attached to the onsen. Uh, and so they'll accommodate a certain number of people there. Um, and, uh, and to that point, one of the, the reasons you'll see things differently in, in an onsen is that in a ryokan, you're given a change of clothes when you arrive. Um, so you'll get a, a, a cotton yukata to wear. Um, uh, or a similar uh, garment, depending on the uh, the onsen, and you'll wear that around the uh, uh, the onsen while you're staying there. Nice. Uh, and so you take that with you to the bath, take that off, and, and, and put that back I on. Can come with less luggage. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's part of the, the charm is that you go there and you're kind of taken care of. It's very nice. Yeah. Uh, I've got a book. Uh, <laughs> uh, a chance to go to an onsen. Yes. It's a, it's a it's a wonderful experience. Very relaxing and. Uh, you know, you can just relax and recharge, and there's there's just exactly the right amount of stuff to do. How much time do people usually spend there? Good question. So it depends. Um, you're, you're probably not going to spend a week at an onsen. <laughs> there's only so much to do there. Um, but generally, you'll, you'll do about a day uh, at an onsen. Um, it depends also on your vacation. So many folks will take an onsen as their sort of base of operations if they're going up into the mountains, for example. Um, in certain areas of Japan, it's a great place to, to go, and then you're hiking or you're biking oh, or going wherever you want after to. After a hard day of, of working ah, out and just relaxing. Exactly. That sounds, that sounds <laughs> very relaxing, being able to sit in the hot, hot springs. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a particular time of year where they're more popular? Yes, that's a good question. Um, so they tend, as I understand, they tend to get more popular in the, in the colder months. Hmm. So uh, in the autumn, particularly, they're very uh, popular. I suppose a hot day in the summer is probably not right. the most <laughs> popular day for it. But. And then also you get the, 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 the lovely uh, changing uh, uh, leaves. Okay. Yeah, and so you get to, to sit back and, and enjoy that as well. And then, of course, in the winter, you get that wonderful contrast. So uh, you get to sit there and enjoy that. But then, of course, you've got to get it out. <laughs> the cold breezes <laughs> it, may, it may be comforting at that point true yeah absolutely um, and especially with some of those really really hot onsen <laughs> <laughs> well once I get to the certain prune level then I have to <laughs> there we are <laughs> and the, the other nice thing is that um, this being sort of a uh, traditional thing you know, generally speaking you know, your meals are taken care of you know, you just go whenever meals are ready. You go; they'll, they'll provide that for you, and so it's 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 an, a whole package. That's the way to travel. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the onsen. Onsen. Yes. And the name of the establishment? Ryokan. A Ryokan. And you'll often see Ryokan that are not attached to an onsen, so that's that's not uh, required. Um, but uh, if you, if you see an onsen with with rooms, it's got a Ryokan attached. <laughs> Next time I go to Japan. There we go. Same here, I think. <laughs> I mean, and if you're going to go, definitely worth doing. Excellent. Cool.
Well, join us next time. Yes, absolutely.